Hey, what's up? What's up, y'all? How are you guys doing? Hopefully, everyone's doing great today, man. So this video is the game of the season. I'm not even kidding when I say this is the game of the season. It's the game of the season. <laughs> You already know, when I don't put an introduction, when I, when I don't put any music, I just bring you guys straight to the gameplay because it's going to be amazing. And this video is, um, I think, 12 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy, chill out. <laughs> you, you guys already know I'm always chill on these videos. I don't, uh, you know, I bring that chill vibe. So alley you to white side from Curry. So we played the Hornets a few times this year in season two. I think we played them about six times, but out of the six, this is the best game out of them all. Steph Curry with the pull up right there. So this game is 12 minutes because towards the end of the game, I'm not gonna be cutting anything out. I'm gonna be playing out the ending of the game. I want you guys to see and experience or should I say try and experience what I and he felt throughout the game, the tension, how close this game was, how <laughs> we were trading blows back and forth. So what I want to tell you guys is don't skip the video, hopefully you watch the entire video so you guys get the feel of how this game was going. And by now you should have an idea that it's going back and forth, the lead is never safe. Luka Doncic, a nice pass right here, Iguodala with the crazy rebound and the putback. So while this gameplay is going on, there's one thing I wanted to mention is that for season number 3, Luka Doncic with a nice block right there. I think this was one of the plays of the game, Luka with the block. And then we hit the corner 3, perfect release. So one thing I wanted to touch on is that on season 3, what I'm trying to do is I want to stream a few games onto the channel, so the full game which is about almost an hour, so if you guys are down to watch the whole game from beginning to end, let me know and I'll try to stream a couple of games. The only problem with streaming is that my setup for PS5 streaming, there's no sound on the game. So if you watched one of my streams that I made when I first... <laughs> Oof, I'm messing up my words. When the PS5 first came out, Curry with the cheese, back-to-back -back triples by the way, Woo! Reminds me of the All-Star game. If you guys have watched the All-Star game this year, Dame Dollar, Damian Lillard, and Steph Curry were just straight up killing it from range. Made it so entertaining. So let me go back on what I was trying to say earlier. In terms of streaming, I don't have sound on the game. I don't know why. I think I'm missing a few wires or something but if you guys watched the stream when ps5 came out i streamed my first online league i mean not the online league my online rank game when i played play now you'd see that you could see the gameplay you could hear the voice but you don't hear the commentary you don't hear the fans you don't hear anything of the ps5 it's literally just my voice and <laughs> and you're watching the game but if you guys don't mind that, literally just hearing the voice and the game, watching the gameplay, but you don't hear any of the 2K in the back. Like like this gameplay you're watching, you could hear the background, you could hear the fans and the commentary and everything, the ball dribbling, the dogs. So if you guys want to watch streams but there's no sound, like literally just the voice and the gameplay, just let me know and I'll try to stream some games. So you guys can watch how a league game actually is. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm an online. You know, against another user, instead of watching these 10 minute highlights, you could watch the full game from beginning to end. You could watch this, um, you know, the adjustments that both teams make. Because throughout the game, there's always adjustments based on what's going on in the game. You know, there's different different lineups, different strategies, uh, <laughs> different strategies implied by both teams. Because, you know, every matchup is different. Everyone has different players, so it's really hard to you know, pinpoint how to score uh, in this game depending on who you're playing against. Because some teams you play against, you just match up really bad and it's really, really tough to win. But against some other teams, you match up a little bit better, so your offense is a little bit more smooth, but that's the great thing about this game. You know, you gotta try to make adjustments <laughs> and try to figure out how to win the game. Brandon Ingram dunks it right here. So one thing I wanted to mention is in this fourth quarter, he was abusing Steph Curry on defense, so I did the impossible. 
I subbed out Steph Curry in the fourth quarter. As you can see, I subbed him out for Avery Bradley because he was straight up abusing Steph Curry. And I was down by eight points with three minutes to go. So I had to make a change. That was one of the big adjustments I had to make. I don't think anyone would bench Steph Curry in the fourth quarter. He's the MVP of the league. He's been killing it. You know, MVP candidate in real life. Nobody would bench Steph Curry in the close game, but I did that. Because <laughs> he was straight up abusing Steph Curry. So as you can see, he has Brandon Ingram right here. Well, he tried to lob it up. So <laughs> we're going to try to take advantage of that defensive stop. Uh, we got Dutch off the screen. He goes for the steal. Back to Luka. Step back. Get into the paint. Nice blow by animation. And we get the dunk. So as you can see, he's trying to abuse my um, nice lob right there. I don't know if he realized that Steph Curry was off the game. Because I think he was confused. <laughs> and I can lob it right back with Hassan on white side. So DeJounte Murray in this fourth quarter was abusing Steph Curry. So I put Avery Bally in the game to have better defense. And I relied on Luka Doncic to try to set up the offense. So you end up fouling here. He makes the first. He missed the second. So it's a three-point game. Luka's going to go all the way into the paint. And he gets a nice layup. So we went from down 8 points with 3 minutes to go. And ever since I benched Steph Curry, we bring the lead down to 1. Great defensive possession right here by our team. So Luka is going to find Bradley. I get pushed and we get the ball stolen. Huge turnover. Oh my god, that was a bad time to turn the ball over. So I'm going get to <laughs> get back into the paint and we get fouled, man. So this game is crazy so far. We made the first, we missed the second. So I'm going to try to go for the steal right here. But obviously we can't get it right away. We're going to try to bring a trap. But then Hassan Whiteside, I don't know what he was doing. So I ended up fouling right here. I'm telling you, on this game, if you don't green your free throws, you're going to miss a lot. Because it's on Hall of Fame difficulty. And you're going to miss a lot of these free throws if you don't green it. We've had players with Clay Thompson. Brandon Ingram was a great free throw shooter and he missed that one. I'm telling you, if you don't green it, it's going to miss a lot. <laughs> like I said, we have players with Clay Thompson that miss free throws, with great free throw shooters that miss free throws because they can't green it. On Hall of Fame, it's really difficult to green free throws. But on this possession, we stuff Steph Curry back in the game. Corner three, let's go! Man, I just stopped Steph Curry back in the game just for that specific shot. So 4.7 seconds left. Who's he going to go to? Is it Brandon Ingram? It's going to be Devin Booker. He's going to go for the fading mid. That's usually his spot right there. Woo! We dodged the bullet. Devin Booker is super clutch, but he missed that shot. Now we're heading into overtime 88 to 88. Brandon Ingram is in the post. We bring a double team. Great defensive possession. He gets the offensive rebound. Nice rotation. But he greens that midi. That's a good shot by my opponent. I can't complain about our defense. We played a great defensive possession. But he managed to green it. Avery Bradley goes inside. So Avery Bradley has to step up offensively as well. Because he's replacing Steph Curry right now. So every bucket Avery Bradley can get is going to be a bonus. Luka Doncic gets into the paint. We get a nice layup. So it's back to 92-92. DeJounte Murray. Back to Booker off a of screen. Back to Murray. Back to Ingram. Great defense right here by Josh Richardson. He's going to try to fade away. We play great, great defense. I'm telling you, when I stubbed out Steph Curry, he didn't really have much players to abuse on defense. So we get a nice offensive rebound by Hassan Whiteside, just beasting inside. So it's a two-point basketball game. Brandon Ingram is going to come off a screen right here. Oh no, that wasn't Brandon Ingram. My bad, that was someone else. <laughs> I thought that was B.I., but that was Kevin Love coming off a screen. Devin Booker gets into the paint. Nice move, Hassan Whiteside. Nice rebound. I mean, nice contest, but Jonas got fouled and made both free throws. It's back to a 94 game. So it's clutch <laughs> clutch time. I missed the midi with Luka. That's crazy because Luka Doncic has like a 96 mid range and I missed a wide open midi. And he has difficult shots on goal as well. 
so I don't know how that missed. I know I didn't green it, but still, that was a wide open mid. Brandon Ingram is going to go back into the post. We're going to bring the double team. Fade away. That was a crazy hook shot attempt. I don't know what that was. So we need to score on this possession because this is a tight game. Luka back to wide side. That was a nice quick bullet pass. Two clutch free throws for our big guy. Can I make them? That's the question. Oof, clutch. He has ice in the veins, by the way. That badge, ice in the veins. So that comes in very handy in these clutch situations. And if you guys didn't realize, I still didn't put Steph Curry in the game. I didn't play him almost the entire fourth and the entire overtime. So not many managers, or should I say coaches, would sub out Steph Curry in this type of game. Devin Booker is going back into the paint. Great defensive sequence by Shumpert. We get the defensive stop. So that's what I've been trying to say is that whenever I put Curry on the floor, he would always abuse him on defense. I missed the first free throw. Oh my goodness. Because he has great scores. He has DeJounte Murray who could slash. I missed the second one. Oh no. So like I said, he has DeJounte Murray, he has Booker, he has Ingram, he has Kevin Love, he has lots of offensive weapons that could attack Curry. So he's going to get into the paint. Brandon Ingram, I thought he was going to shoot that, but we didn't jump. DeJounte Murray, great defense. He gets that animation into the baseline and gets the layup. Damn, so it's a back to a tie game right now. <laughs> Man, the mascot is going crazy right there. Alright, Mr. Mascot, we'll see what we got for you. You already know what we're going to do. We're going to put back Mr. Curry in the game just for this specific sequence. He hit the game, tying shot in the fourth. Curry! Oh! <laughs> Yo! Oh my goodness. Curry literally just came in the game to shoot the game, tying shot in the game with her. <laughs> Yo, oh my goodness. That's crazy, man. So this game was really epic, probably the game of the year. Not many people would have benched Curry like I did and just put him back at the end like... <laughs> oh my god, that took a lot of guts. You know, but that was a great chess match. You know, my opponent was uh, really uh, doing work against Curry, so I had to take him out, man, unfortunately. <laughs> oh my goodness, so this game was amazing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, man. This was pure gameplay, raw action. I brought you straight into the game. So, <laughs> this was probably one of the best games of the season, or should I say game of the season, Curry still dropped 21 and 35, I mean 35 and 21 minutes. Please drop a like and a comment man, this was probably a 13 minute epic video for y'all, so hopefully you guys liked it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.